Warning, Channel Robozoid contains adult language, adult content, strong opinions, and verbal brutality. Viewer discretion is advised. Oh, hey, which way do I go? Oh, over here? Oh, yeah. What I've done since I've changed the law, what's happened? I've changed it in a way that now you're in a situation where there are 40% fewer people coming across the border illegally. That's better than when he left office. And I'm going to continue to move until we get the total ban on the, 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 the total initiative relative to what we're going to do with more Border Patrol and more uh, asylum officers. Hello, fellow infidels and patriots alike. It is I, the Robozoid, back with another video. And this one, major video. Because last night, of course, as you know, was the uh, presidential debate between Donald Trump and the corpse. I, I mean, Joe Biden. And, well, things did not go well for Biden at all. I mean, quite frankly, he was just mummified. He looked old, tired, weak, frail, uh, pretty much uh, rigor mortis-like, if you want to say that, because this didn't go well for him. Um, thank God he didn't have any Mitch McConnell moments, I guess you could say. Otherwise, the Democrats would have seriously considered replacing him with uh, another candidate, whether that would have been Gavin, whether that would have been, uh, whether that would have been uh, RFK Jr., or, God forbid, even Shrillery. Thank God that at least didn't happen, and I don't know how he stuck it out for the entire hour and a half, but he did. Nevertheless, Joe fumbled, he stumbled, he bumbled, and anything that doesn't rhyme with umbled, because he was just bad in this debate. Trump mopped the floor with him. I mean... <laughs> I mean, obviously, you're going to have the media spin it a different direction and say that Biden won the debate when truly, when we know that he didn't. I mean, I was watching it along with Dr. Savage last night, and uh, he looks terrible. Just take a look at some of these highlights. Created mandates that was a disaster for our country, but other than that, we had we had given them back a a country where the stock market actually was higher than pre-COVID, and nobody thought that was even possible. Uh, the only jobs he created are for illegal immigrants. First of all, I got to show you this. You see, Trump is very alive and, vib and vibrant, whereas you can see clearly Biden's got his head down. He looks like he's sleeping. I was like, hey, Joe, you're asleep. Wake up. And bounce back jobs, a bounce back from the COVID. He has not done a good job. He's done a poor job and inflation's killing our country. It is absolutely killing us. Created 15,000 new jobs, and we brought out a <laughs> position where we have 800,000 new manufacturing jobs. But there's more to be done. There's more to be done. Working class people are still in trouble. Because of you. I Pennsylvania. I come of household where the kitchen table, if the things weren't able to be met during the month, it was a problem. Price ah, shut up, you bastard. You don't know anything. You created nothing except misery and chaos and absolute crime all over the country. You old prick, you. Eggs, the price of gas, the price of housing, the price of a whole range of things. That's why I'm working so hard to make sure I deal with those problems. There have been many young women murdered by the same people he allows to come across our border. We have a border that's the most dangerous place anywhere in the world. Consider the most dangerous place anywhere in the world. And he opened it up and these killers are coming into our country and they are raping and killing women. We significantly increased the number of asylum officers. Significantly, by the way, the Border Patrol endorsed. See, the guy doesn't even know what he's saying here. He's falling apart here. And, yeah, everything that Biden is saying is absolute bullshit. I mean, Trump is telling the truth here on this whole thing, and I think that he nailed him to a cross. Me. The kind of cross that he thought Biden, he, that Biden thought he should be on. When he was president, he was taking, separating babies from their mothers, putting them in cages making sure they were... Your boss did that, so shut up. The families were separated. I spent half my career being, being criticized, being the youngest person in politics. I was the second youngest person ever elected to the United States. And now you're the oldest. Senate. And 
and now I'm the oldest. This guy's three years younger and a lot less competent. I think that just look at the record, look at what I've done, look how I've turned around the horrible situation he left me. Well, I took two tests, cognitive tests, I aced them, both of them, as you know, we made it public. He took none, I'd like to see him take one, just one, a real easy one. Like go through the first five questions, he couldn't do it. The crimes that you are still charged with, and think of all the civil penalties you have. How many billions of dollars do you owe in civil penalties? Right, of course, Biden had to bring up the whole uh crimes thing and the whole uh, uh, th for, whatever. For molesting a woman in public, for doing a whole range of things, of having sex with a porn star on the night while your wife was pregnant. I mean, what, what are you talking about? You, you have the morals of an alley cat. When he talks about a convicted felon, his son is a convicted felon at a very high level. His son is convicted, going to be convicted probably numerous other times. Should have been convicted before, but his Justice Department let the statute of limitations lapse on the most important things. Making sure that we're able to make every single solitary person eligible for what I've been able to do with the, uh, with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with, uh, look, Finally beat Medicare. Right, so now you've got CNN in full panic mode because they just don't know what to do now. I mean, they're like chickens with their heads cut off, running around trying to figure out what they're going to do because their candidate looked so bad last night. So what the hell is the hope for them? I would say the only other hope is to select another candidate, but forget it, they're not going to do that. I think they want to keep Biden in this thing, and I think obviously Jill does because she's clearly committing elder abuse. Do I even need to show you another demonstration? I say just for shits and giggles, and because it's funny, I say we show more highlights. I mean lowlights, rather. When I was vice president, down to a six. And, and, but by the way, I told you before, I'm happy to play golf if you carry your own bag. Think you can do it? That's the biggest lie. It was a six handicap of all. I was an eight handicap. What does he think this is? Caddyshack? Great movie, by the way. President Trump, we're going to do it. Let's not act like children. Anderson, this was a game changing debate in the sense that right now, as we speak, there is a deep a wide and a very aggressive panic in the Democratic Party. It started many Yeah, no shit, debate, Skippy. And it continues right now. And I think there's a lot of people who are going to want to see him consider um, taking a different course now. Uh, we're still far from our convention. And there is time for this party to figure out a different way. What? For people Speak allow English. That. Um, but that was uh, not what we needed from Joe Biden. And it's personally painful for a lot of people. It's not just... And tariff and everything that comes into the United States of America. What I did, when, for example, he wants to get away with, he get rid of the ability of Medicare to, uh, the, to for the huh? ability to, for the, us to be able to negotiate drug prices with the big pharma companies. Well, guess what? We got it, we got it down to 15, excuse me, $35 for insulin instead of 400 in a 10 year period. We'd be able to right wipe out his debt. We'd be able to help make sure that all those things we need to do. Child what care, debt? Over care. Making sure that we continue to strengthen our healthcare system. Making sure. What the fuck are you talking about? Person. Sorry, watching. Got to watch my language. Eligible for what I've been able to do with the uh, with, with, with the COVID. Excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with. Uh, look, if we finally beat Medicare. What's the matter, genius? <laughs> Did, did Jill forget to give you your uh, intravenous load of insure? <laughs> did, did, did you not ask to borrow some of Hunter's crack cocaine so you could get uh, propped up for this thing? Oh, man. Fall, this, is, this is falling apart here. You could clearly see just from even looking at this footage, the old man is falling apart. He's just falling apart. I get, my guess is that probably... Uh, my guess is probably that uh, Jill forgot to provide an intravenous load of insure um, or that he didn't get to borrow any of uh, Hunter's cocaine in order to prop him up. But he just looked terrible. 
I mean, he was ill-prepared, fumbling through his notes, uh, whereas Trump didn't even need any notes. He didn't need them because he spoke from the heart, which is what every politician should do. That is, if only all politicians even had a heart at all. I mean, we know they don't. But Trump's not a politician, not a career politician. So clearly the guy was speaking from his heart, and I applaud him for that. Um, he was just completely instrumental and excellent in every possible way with this debate. I mean, I feel like I'm slathering his butt too much when, quite frankly, I don't need to. I mean, you get guys like Pawn Vanity to do that. And I'm glad that Trump also kept his cool and uh, didn't have any outbursts or any moments where, it, where CNN felt like they needed to cut his mic. Um, so I'm glad that any, so he must not have listened to his advisors who've been giving him terrible advice. And he certainly probably didn't listen to anything Pawn Vanity said, speaking of which. So should we take a look at a few more of these? I mean, I don't want this video to run too long, but I don't know. I can't help it. I'm going to, I think I'm going to watch more of these and you can watch them along with me too. January 6th, we respected all over the world. That was just one of the outlandish remarks made by former President Donald Trump at last night's debate. Oh, that's a load of shit. Joe Biden appeared shaky and at times incoherent. The unusually early affair kickstarted the general election. <laughs> Are you serious? Outlandish remarks. Piss off, you little mo. We know, that, you know, we know that Trump was speaking truth to power and that Biden was clearly losing it. So I, I told you that the media would spin this in a different direction, that they'd tell you that it was really Biden who won this debate when, like I said, we already know that Trump won. Stop spinning it and stop pulling shit out of your ass without any payoff. Your Washington correspondent, Hallie Jackson and Kristen, let me begin with you. What are the headlines being written right now about this debate? Well, Lester and Savannah, there's no way to sugarcoat this. Dolt. This night got off to a tough start for President Biden. He delivered a performance that was at times halting. At times he seemed to lose. Why don't you just come out and say the truth? He was horrible, okay? He did a rotten job. Obviously, Biden was spaced out. He didn't know where he was. And he just slipped back into his, uh, into his old man habits again of forgetting where he was, not knowing what he was talking about, and then drifting on to some goofy golf story for some reason. Why don't you just get to those points? His train of thought at times, he started to talk about one topic, for example, the economy, and then shifted to Afghanistan, which... Moving from, from topic to topic without moving from topic to topic without anyone having a chance to interrupt it was quite hypnotic. Former President Trump in opening as the night progressed, he did begin to pick up steam. He had some ha! really strong moments on the issues of what his administration, for example, has done. Stupid! You're so stupid! So as I said, the lamestream media was going to spin it then whichever way they wanted to spin it. Uh, they try and doing anything desperately to make Biden look good because they're in full panic mode. Uh, so they would just say, well, his mind was wandering and he wasn't focused and maybe he just had a rough day or something, a rough night, which is why he kept going and won and kept talking and won and read the very long unbroken sentence moving from topic to topic so that no one had that chance to interrupt it was quite hypnotic. Okay, that's my Picard impression. As a matter of fact, Jean-Luc, do you want to actually feel out exactly what happened with uh, Biden in this debate? No, I didn't think so. Uh, well, in any case, I'd love to play you more of this, but I don't want this video to run longer than it already has, so I'm just going to leave it on this note, and on a very positive note, too. Trump kicked ass in that debate. He was sharp, he was on focus, he knew what the topics were gonna be, and also he knew that there was gonna be some of that uh, convicted felon shit coming his way, but he didn't let it phase him, he kept his cool. So I'm really glad that he won this debate, and I don't even know if there'll be a second debate after this because Biden looks so terrible. 
he just was unfocused. He didn't, he just looked around and he made weird faces at some point, you know, like the eyes, of course, because uh, quite frankly, this guy was just not there. Biden was not there at all. You could tell by even looking in his eyes. And you know what they say, the eyes are the window to the soul. So this didn't go very well for him at all. And I don't, I don't guess that there'll be a second debate. And if there is, I think that Dr. Jill's got to pump him up on some insurer or something or just a lot of caffeine if his old heart can take it. Because this didn't go well for him. And, you know, Trump definitely won last night. And the reason why he did, because he knows that we got to have the power to the people back not the greedy career politicians. He understands that wokeness is weakness. And also, of course, he is very much aware of the sound of the power to the music in the streets, which is our own voices chanting, USA, USA, USA for Donald Trump. So this has been the Robozoid reminding you, of course, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Also, of course, check me out on Rumble if YouTube gives you problems. Also, remember that the Robozoid tells you this for your own damn good to be here or be absolutely nowhere.